guys, my name is Leah, and today's video is sponsored by Best Fiends. It is this really adorable, cute game where you have these little characters right here, and they defeat the Slugman. You just connect all the like items, as many as possible. I messed up. All right. And it kills him. You can find it in the App Store. It is free, and it looks like this. In this game, you have characters that you start off with, and you collect all these like items. That way you can defeat the slug. It is this app's birthday. Go show them some love. And in the app, once you download it, in this game, there will be huge rewards, and there's this little Howie's suit that you can get. I am on level 35. I believe I'm in the Icelands now, and I will have all the information to their website and the link for the app in the description box. Now back to the video. Bye! You came to watch me? Oh, that's so sweet. My little unicorns are here. I'm so excited. Hey guys, my name is Leah, and today I will be voicing your opinions along with a little bit of what I know and my opinion as well on the MD 2.0. I know it's not what you all wanted, but it's what happened. Let's let's hear your opinions on the matter. I hate it. It's terrible. Really, it's so unfair to the original members. This could have been handled differently, but it didn't. There's nothing we can do a bit about it. Brian is the owner of the channel. There is nothing that the other members can do about it. It is already set. They were gonna, they were like in the process of breaking up. I believe they had a different plan when they did break up, but it didn't go that way. It happens. People don't always do what they say they were going to do. I think it's really unfair to all the original members. I think he should have gone about it differently to respect the original MD. There is different ways that he could have done this. I agree to that 100%. But everyone has their own mindset. He had a mindset to just try and build it back up. Make it a better MD. You can't really hate him for it. Living. This is how the people you watch make their living. Hate it. Why are they even making a 2.0 when they can get all the other members back together? and just keep doing it like seriously F you Brian that is very rude you're supposed to be my magical little unicorn okay so making Brian the bad guy is not the way to go about it I know in situations like this everyone wants to look for a bad guy hammering him and the people that you think are going to be an MD 2.0 is not the way to go about it like I understand the older <laughs> anyway I understand the original members are upset I understand that they wanted something different but it did not happen it, everything does not happen the way you want it to you have to deal with it I mean I understand they put a lot of work in it a lot of other people that weren't even in MD put a lot of work into it so technically it's not just up to those seven people there was a lot of other people that put work into it but they don't get a voice in it the person who owns the channel has the last say to it. Does Brian not realize how much damage he's causing all the previous MD members? Like they put all, they put a lot of effort into chant into the channel. I think he should let MD go. He's no one's gonna let MD go. There are still many people commenting about it, making videos about it. MDE is like one of. I want to say, well, right now, it's one of the hottest. It may not be in a good way, but right now, it is one of the hottest things going on. He's not going to just drop it. I, I, an account with all that effort put into it? No one's going to just drop it. If the other MD members could just pick it back up, I'm sure they would. But it's horrible that Shannon's ex is going to be in it. You know what? Diego's a cool guy. I met him a few times. He's really sweet. I love his hair. He's always, I love, I just love Diego. Like, how can you not? Like, his style. He has this kind of like pastel pink swag going on. And it's awesome. I mean, how could you hate that? Wait, how does Robbie feel about it? Robbie's a little stressed out. Just about, you know, everyone else is stressed out as well. I mean, it's a huge thing going on right now. Let me get on the nope train to the F that bill. I love your language. I don't know what, ugh, I don't know. We'd have to see a video or two, get to ugh, get the feel for it. 
and I haven't heard anything about this, so what is it even? Well, MDE is My Digital Escape. It has seven members in it. It started with Brian, Alex, Johnny, Shannon, Kyle, Sweeto. I'm missing one. To get this straight, I just started all of this. I don't normally get in the drama, but I know the people who follow me want their opinions to be heard and read, whether it's anonymous or not, they want to be, they want to feel like they're a part of it. That's why I do this. I don't go into the drama, I don't stick my nose into it, I don't comment too much about it. My opinion pretty much stays between me, my friends, and my boyfriend. MD. I'm gonna be honest, I didn't know what it was. I didn't know what YouTube was, I didn't know who Robbie was, I didn't know any of this. So, to say I have opinion is a little much. I have been in the middle of opinions, so it just helps me surface a feel for what and who everyone is. Jaden! That's why I got, I forgot it. Jordan and Jaden. It's unfair and not right. All he wants is the money and it should it shouldn't be that way. He made the channel with new people that the original members didn't get along with. That's a lie. The original uh, the original members did get along with it. I'm sure they did collapse with some of them. I mean, some of them are a little out there. It's a bit heartbreaking if you ask me. I know the channel. I know uh, I've known that channel for so long. Now it's getting replaced. The six other members spent so much time filming videos and all the tours. It's pathetic how Brian just wants to get more fame and money. It'll never be the same. Okay, Brian's not <laughs> doing it for fame and money. He's getting so much hate from all this and he knew he would. Everyone's getting hate, even people that aren't even in it. Assuming someone's in it when you have no proof and going after them, that's not what unicorns do. Unicorns are supposed to be happy and joyful. Be a little unicorn. Hold on. <gasps> you want to see my unicorn? Be my little unicorn. That's what you are. I do not like it at all. Brian took advantage of the other six out of seven members. They don't deserve that. They were all friends, but then he got lost in the fame and ruined all of that. I don't know if he notices how much he hurt the... Escapers and the other people of their original and may I say only MD I would support him if he were making another channel, but he should leave MD alone um, There was so much going on that they planned on breaking up So it's not Brian's fault again. You're going after him like I'm not supporting or like defending anyone But I'm not gonna have my little unicorns attacking people. That's not how we work. We're supposed to be colorful and joyful. I think it's an effing joke and Brian is a snake and trying to screw over a bunch of people five, eight years younger than him. Some are barely adults just like he did when they were part of it. Okay, Brian managed most of them. So as a manager, he got a certain amount, but he also built them up from where they were. He helped them as well. He didn't tear them apart. They may have not liked him because he had to be the authority because he was the manager. He can't, you know, just relax and like chill and you know all that. He has that extra work on top of making the videos, on top of the tour. He has to make sure that their stuff's going through and that they're getting deals as well. That's how YouTubers make a living. That's how it happens. Like, he didn't ruin it. By the way, I've heard so many different stories as to why it all went down, it's ridiculous. So until all of them get together and actually tell us what happened, there's no reason in assuming because it's just going to start other problems and make it escalate. Honestly, he should be mature and change the name. It hasn't even started yet and MD 2.0 has a bad rep. It would have been more successful with a new name and fresh start. I agree. I agree completely with that. New name, fresh start, but I understand why he didn't. I don't think it's fair why I kick them off if they are their original group. However, I don't think that all of the old members should make a channel with them only and maybe include you and Robbie because that would be funny. Honestly, it won't be the same on ND, ugh, MDE with the new changes. Oh, I feel the love. Oh, oh, oh. 
I love you. You're a sweet little unicorn. There are ways that it could have been like, I'm sure when they broke up, they had a mindset of what they were gonna do to get it back together, but there was so much time in between that and so much that happened that it didn't work out. Plans don't always work out the way they want them to or any of us, the way any of us want them to. So, I mean, it happened. You know, problems escalated within that gap of them breaking up and them getting back together, so new members popped up. He's taking all the good memories about MD and just throwing them in the trash. Okay, this is the last comment I'm gonna read, and I'm gonna go ahead and say, you all will like the new MD. I like them, they're all sweet, they're all funny. You will love them. I know you are giving them so much hate. I understand why you are. You are loyal to the old members, and I understand that. I have met only a few of them, but I know they're sweet. Johnny and Alex are two of the sweetest people I've met. I haven't talked to Johnny that much, but he's more of the shy, mysterious. I understand why he's with Alex. Alex is so sweet, it's ridiculous. I understand why everyone's defending them. I wish they were on it too, but there were issues. They aren't on it. They can't be on it now. It's too late for that. Shannon, I don't know anything about her. Tyler, again, I didn't, I don't know who they are. I can't give you an opinion. The only thing I see them as, I see Shannon as the kind of big sister kind of thing. The emo big sister. That's the best I can get from her. Kyle, I've maybe seen one picture of. I can't tell you my opinion on him. Jordan Sweeto, everyone, everyone that says something about him says that he's a good guy. So I'm going to take their word on it. Jordan is a good job, a good guy. I haven't heard about Jaden. I don't even know who that is. Brian, he's technical. He gets what he needs to get done, whether it hurts other people or not. And I understand it's his job. He can't, like, he's going to be hated. He's going to get, you know, the negative comments from that. There's nothing you can do for it. Okay, guys, I know this may not have been the video that you hoped for, and I apologize for that, but this is what you got. If you want me to do something different, you have my social medias available in the description box below. I'm sorry that some of you are upset about this. I hope you can grow to like the new MD 2.0. You will probably realize why I'm saying that. I hope you like it. I love you all. Bye. Did you like it? I hope you did. I know it's not what you wanted. It's okay. I'll try better next time.